need to pit for fuel. That's going to be well over 30 seconds in the lane here at Watkins Glen. Uh, it's such a slow exit to the to the pit lane as well, but some nice battling going on here. Ian Haycox trying to make a move on Doug Cloud around the outside, but these GTOs, no downforce to play with. I know they have a wing on the back of there, but that just keeps the rear tires attached to the ground. Doesn't help you turn in. That wing is just for aesthetics only. There's not a lot that can do at the moment. It's old school technology, <laughs> but it does its job. There is Alec coming past the back of that train. Here's the main part of that train. It's going to take a while. He may start to lose some time here. Alex Ott heading towards that pack. They're side by side with Ben Laughter and Timothy Vaughn battling for seventh position. Alex is going to have to be real patient. He can't make his way around the outside of this corner. The GTOs will wash out. That's exactly what happens. And he takes to the inside. Plenty of room there for three wide. Able to do so. And now whipping his way around the outside. He's going to go off track to avoid Robert Plumley. Easily enough done. Cuts inside of Ian Haycox. Doesn't hold him off too much. And makes his way past Doug Cloud. And Alex Ott's through. Still 10.3 seconds ahead the rest of the cars going through the train and here it is the train you see followed by these cars and i love this camera right on the wall here and you get to see all the cars and all the navigation everything gets bunched up everything gets expanded and compressed this is the saying we say traffic give it traffic take it away we go free wide into the 90 and pepe continues to hold that p7 absolutely beautiful communication from all of these drivers everyone's taking the lines that they need to everyone's communicating clearly that's doug cloud who's stuck in the middle he didn't communicate super clearly got a little bit offline he's gonna lose some time he's gonna lose a position to ian haycox i believe but look at the gtp trying to cut their way through it's three wires they get back onto the back straight away freeway they get back onto the straightaway and they manage to get by it in front you've got aaron humphrey getting past alec millwood that is what ian c he's seeing a lot of cars coming by him but he manages to keep it under control with doug there not trying to try and make a move around the outside this time they're through the worst of it at the moment that's the thick of the gtps as he continues to look for a position he's unable to try and find anywhere to go waiting for his opportunity and of course, without this bus stop here, it changes to the dynamics of this race as Plumley is oh. in trouble. A little tap there, and the number nine goes around, and Timothy Vaughan, guy, oh, couldn't keep it out the wall. No, just a little bit too deep on the brakes from Plumley. He, he tried to avoid making contact, but Timothy Vaughn making contact with that outside powder blue Armco. Here comes under braking. Plumley's trying to turn the car, but man, these GTOs, once you get under hard braking, they do not turn at all. So, very tough stuff for Timothy Vaughn. I'm sure Plumley didn't intend for that to happen, but Vaughn now back in, in eighth position and way off the back of that train for third. It is a very tough and unfortunate moment there. We have now seen two leaders in the GTOs get crashed out at the S's. It is proven to be one of the trickiest part of multi-class racing on sim racing honestly i think people are starting to get a little bit tired make some mistakes when it comes to judgment calls here and we're going to see it once again that's sebastian same now trying to cut his way through the gto's able to do so safely but look at this doug cloud who's now inherited second position mind you trying to hold off ian haycox robert Paul, and ben left with theo Schlore. they've got loud Olsen and martin kratrick battling for 15th position trying to cut through go through the middle three wide and almost make contact there with with, uh, Robert Plumley, Plumley able to hang it around the outside of Haycox, trying to duke it out with him. Excuse me, worst if we play, Mum on shore. That's what they're doing at the moment. They're trying to get by, and the GTPs get by, and Plumley's got the inside here for Haycock. Side by side, they go battling, and this is fantastic from Haycock, but he has to yield. With seven and a half minutes to go, he has to yield that P3 to Robert Plumley. Can he even look for a move again behind his Ben Laughter? We didn't even think we'd talk about Ben Laughter in this position. Eight positions he's gained so far in this race. He's currently sitting in P5, and Theo Shirley still behind them somehow with that car which probably doesn't have front wheel drive is still there in p6 yeah shlari has got a mace an immense race pace in mean, a good clean car trouble is he can't seem to get a good clean car going for himself duck cloud and robert pumley run deep as they exit the boot ian haycox gets a little bit loose on the exit there the tires starting to wear down for these gtos 
this is the time we'll keep our eyes on the pit wall for the GTP because if anybody can't make it, this is the time we start to see some of those drivers coming in to the pit. Wide goes Dog Cloud. He is trying to hold that car. Just hold on for two more minutes. He's begging that car with all of his might. Please just hold on. Crumbly, again, look, here comes Jack Spickett. He's not in a battle with Youngblood. That other GTP is not a battle for him at the moment. This may help Crumbly. This is going to help somebody when they go into the braking. I don't think, I think it's going to help Plumley. I think you're right because Doug Clark, me and Haycox might have to brake a little bit harder. Plumley decides to try and not take a move. He's going to lock up the inside right tire as he tucks in behind Ian Haycox. Haycox has got to be good through the gears and they're going to push each other. Oh my goodness. That was Doug Clark getting pushed wide by Alexander Vandelson. Here's the opportunity that Ian Haycox is looking for. He gets ushered wide towards the barrier. Plumley trying to hang on to it as well. And here comes Ben Laughter. Here comes Ben Laughter, he's gonna go, go. Hey, the animals go two by two, and they're gonna keep going. Plumley with a break, a foot draft from Laughter into Ian Haycock. That gets Haycock to move around the outside. No, he copped it. They're gonna go three wide on the exit. Plumley takes the ball. What a move by Robert Plumley. He capitalizes right when he needs it. And they're gonna have one more lap after this, the GTOs. Oh my goodness, side-by-side -side contact between Doug Cloud and Timothy Vaughn as Vaughn's trying to recover his race as Doug Cloud went from second place all the way back to sixth right this juncture, so he's all the way back there. Plumley has the best car. He might start running away from these guys. Alex Ott, he's gone on to the final lap. He thinks he can make it. Thinks he can make it a mission for me and Haycock there. Probably cost him. It didn't cost him a lot because Ben will have to try and do this from the outside. He can't feel now. He's looking for this position. That's Field trying to overtake Ben for P4. He cannot make that there. Let's just give you an idea. Plumley second, Haycock third, Laughter fourth, Shirley fifth, Doug Cloud is sixth. They are all together here. This is one of the best races out of I've missed Camel GT. Oh, Camel, so good. And here they come, coming through the final corner. This is going to be going on to the white flag lap. This time, we're over the 40-minute mark. The GTOs don't have to worry about fuel. None of the GTPs have come through the pits either. Everyone has figured out from that Wednesday race about the fuel saving. This is Doug Cloud looking to the inside of Fuel. Schwery Fuel's got the damaged car, so he's not really going to be able to battle for that position. Now, look at this. Plumley is gone. Fuel Schwery makes contact with Doug Cloud, goes bouncing off of his right rear. That might hold up Doug. See when Doug are going to go side by side. Oh, Theo into the wall. I don't think he realized Doug was there. I don't think he realized Doug was there. Alex Dot has only got a few more corners left. You're not missing anything in that GTO battle. We'll get you there as fast as we can. Is there anything left Ian Haycox can do here? Uh, Alex, Mas uh, Javier Mascara can't make this on the drag, but what's gonna happen for the rest of the field? Well, hang on one second. Where is Ian Haycock? He has been taken out of the race. He's been hit. Plumley's gonna get a P2. Ben Laughter's gonna get a P3. Absolutely. Ian Haycox got launched by Ben Laughter, who took a very opportunistic move into the second to last corner. Let's see it here. Ben Laughter is going to take the move, take an opportunity at Ian Haycox. Haycox tried to close the door too late. He got pushed out wide. Yeah, just a little bit too wide there, but that is hard racing, and you've got to feel Ben saw the opportunity. He wanted to try and take that. He had to do everything he could. Was his opportunity? There was a door opening. It's just hard racing, and it's not what you want to see for Ian there.